had a one night stand with a complete stranger. <laughs> Go ahead, you and say it. <laughs> 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 <Support>. <laughs> um, English tayo dito ngayon mga Mars kasi mga English era mga kasama natin. Roasted ako mga Mars, ang daming nanonood. Okay, let's do this, please. Hindi <laughs> na ako mag-intro ng major major ha kasi uh, ang hirap eh. Okay, please welcome Man of the World 2022 contestants from the Philippines, Nadim Elzine, USA, Landon, Alan Cruz, and Mr. Iran Ali Reza Karib Zadek. Is that? Okay. <laughs> Ayon, hello. Can you guys say a uh, short message to our viewers? Hi guys, hope you enjoyed this wonderful interview. So hit us a good like and subscribe. <laughs> What's up, amazing people? I'm excited for this and a little nervous with what you said in the ending. Eric, we'll see. <laughs> hello everyone. Hope you enjoyed watching us. Hello guys, ano kaya ni kato? Okay, let's do this. So first question, Shepard, for Mr. USA and Mr. Mr. Iraq, how was your stay in the Philippines so far? I love the fact that there's mangoes for breakfast. I gotta Ooh. say, it's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> you love mangoes, Sophie. Yeah. Um, I'm happy for the Philippines, four years and year, and I love the Philippines. So you, you stayed here in the Philippines four years ago? Four years ago. Was it for a vacation? Uh, you went around Bicol and Tagaytay, okay guys. But uh, since Nadim is from here, where would you take them if you're going on a tour? Uh, actually, we've been talking. <laughs> we've been talking about Boracay, and I told him you can It's a must visit. It's like paradise. Yes, yeah. I, I went to Boracay last time. Charot. Share ko lang. Share ko lang. Contestant ka ko. Charot. Okay games. So how are you guys preparing for the pageant? Preparing? Yes, you can start. So physically, mentally, with my health, training, watching movies, interacting with people, to know how to answer the questions, and just being me. That's all. Okay. So what about you, Brandon? I've definitely been working on advocacy work, connecting to different organizations for sponsorships, for outfits, and national costume as well. And definitely just continuing to prepare myself, adjusting to the time zone over here is a big yeah. one. <laughs> How about you? Um, my friend Miss Kim is the one who 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 is the But if there's one thing you guys need to improve on, what do you think for that be? Think of that, all right. Um, improving myself. Why won't you go first? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta think of something. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, definitely just keeping equal importance to everything that's going on. There's times in the preparation where one thing will kind of take a lot of the focus, so, and just remembering to kind of compartmentalizing everything, giving it all equal importance. Do you have an answer now, or we can go to the Okay, Ali. at first. I think first of all, physical, speaking, yeah. Improve myself with um, learning at least one word to every country because I want to be pay the respect. Of course, I'm going to be the host, so I want to pay the respect with every single candidate who comes to the Philippines. So I would say mabuhay and they're also, you know, like hello for U.S. and Iran or something like that. Does that add pressure to you since being the home con uh, the host country? Actually, actually, it won't add pressure. I'm more grateful. I'm happy. I'm. I can't wait. I just want to meet them and say, all right, you can see this and this and this a lot in the Philippines. <laughs> Anything you want to find is here in the Philippines. Oh boy, something like that. You know, it's no pressure. Uh, a lot of Filipinos are very uh, fond of pageant people, big fans of pageant people, but not a lot are, are, are uh, how do you say this, familiar with male pageant people. 
So how would you guys promote uh, male pageantry? Male pageantry, I would be promoting it more as the male pageantry won't be just for body and looks. Okay. Uh, every competition in a male pageantry is like, it's, you can say, it's more about knowledge so with brains and muscularity and responsibility. Same as the logo for Man of the World. So how to be spawn, how to be improving it with other people and talking about male pageantry that each contestant would be that kind of responsible and having that kind of muscularity to join. Yeah. <laughs> how have you been? Uh, yeah, so definitely being a voice, not just a face, a role model, not just a model, and that's one of the best ways to explain male pageantry. That that's what differentiates just the male model versus a mister. Anything to add, Ali? Mm -hmm. Your life, your routine life. Mm -hmm. When you wake up, you just have a little bit. Like that. Okay, I'm lost, but I'm going to So, we all know that uh, pageants are, have very uh, passionate fans, but the, the negative side is also the bad ones. How do you guys handle that part? We'll start with you this time. Yes, so I would definitely differentiate between constructive criticism and criticism. And making sure that maybe they're trying to sharpen you, or maybe they're trying to make fun of you. And if they're trying to make fun of you, you have to be set on what do you think of you. And if they're trying to sharpen you, listen. Do you want anything to add? You want me to add something? All right, you said it all. <laughs> but I'll add something. Uh, bashers, give them a smile. Show them who you are. Because some people, as you said, they're bashing you to get to improve. So just listen and see what's your mistake, and just be you. Last few questions: What do you guys think is the importance of male pageantry amid the pandemic? Um, Brandon, I think, and then you miss. I'm good. I don't. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so. One of the most important things with this is definitely the country's able to come together. A lot of people have not been able to experience any cultures because they've been set within their own place. But then also, during the pandemic, a lot of voices needed to be heard because a lot of low self-esteem was taking place, a lot of depression. So as a mister, just being able to be that role model and encouraging people and using your platform to rise other people up, it's one of the best things you can do during this season. Uh, Abby, do you want to add anything? What's the question again? <laughs> the importance of a male pageantry. It unites us. It doesn't say that you're alone. It unites us as one and learn from our uh, being responsible and mistakes. So it tells, it tells us what's really important and how to roll with it. So right now I learned a lot from Mr. Man of the World USA and Man of the World Iran. So they taught me a lot right now. So it's really important to would you need to do this victory? Yeah. I'll make it more simple. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, you guys. Uh, uh, Man of the World 2022 is all about financial literacy. Yes. Uh, that will be the focus. How will you guys use your platform or your voice to promote that? No, we'll get you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So Brandex, the name I go by means exhortation. And what it is, is when you exhort someone, you draw something out of them what's already in them. And with financial literacy, if you just start letting people know, like, you are smart, and you are capable, and you can do this, it, it shifts a lot of things. It's beyond just giving them information, it's letting them know they are competent to be able to get it done. Hello? Yeah. Ali, come on, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, as he said, uh, you can improve yourself, and... Don't put yourself in a place that won't make you grow. Always, there's more. You can't limit yourself. Keep pushing through and learn something new. Okay. Right. What about you, Adam? Okay. I like this. <laughs> you should take the positive reward for everything you have another time. Yeah. 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 One of your words, si ano, Ali, ano, pero laban. Guys, ito na, papunta na tayo sa exciting part, sabi ni Doc Jill. Ito na ang ating pep challenge!
Pinaka-reading ang lupa malo na sa takot ko. Okay, game. So, ang time challenge natin for tonight, for today's video, ay tinatawag nating spill or strip. So basically, guys, I'll, I'll ask a question. You guys decide if you were you're gonna answer it or take a piece of clothing. Ready? 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 Um, normally I would just strip, but I'm oh. real. The there's parts of your life that you're not so necessarily proud of, but you have to be honest because you have to let other people know that have made that mistake that you're not perfect and there are times that there's flaws, but also to forgive yourself and keep going. Sorry, mga basic three na ito magpatanggal. Okay, next. I like how you twist. Dapat lang isa isa pala ito din. Oo oh, nga, but siguro madali ka. Alright. Had a one night stand with a complete stranger. I'll just strip this. <laughs> okay, meron na. Naku, maraming ba. You know the answer when I strip. No accessories. No accessories. I know accessories daw sa mga yeah. ano. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Good. Okay, so let me twist the answer. Okay. You can take your shoe off. As you said. No problem. Next question. And battered conscience. Yeah, I think this is gonna be more tough. Did the nasty while their girlfriend's parents were around? Ah, did something nasty while their girlfriend's parents are around? Okay. 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 What's that closer to the goal? You have a jacket? Okay, Nadine. No doubt in Nadine. How about you? Yes. Ayan, magtatanggal siya. Sorry? Yes? Ay, sinagot niya? Yes ba yun o no? Ulitin mo ulit. Did something nasty while your girlfriend's parents were around? You did something nasty. No? Okay. Ay, si Asa lang kung ayaw mag-spill si Brandon. Okay, next. When was her, your <laughs> first kiss? <laughs> like, like, kiss or like, serious kiss? <laughs> I just do it like a kiss, 14 years old. 14, yeah. okay. Oh, okay, yeah, middle school. Middle school. Yeah, I mean, today. Yeah, I think maybe 27 years old. Three years ago, four years ago. Oh, I stopped the television. Hi. Hi. Okay. Your most embarrassing moment. Um. I so in middle school, I had to try on a turkey outfit because the person that was supposed to try it on wasn't there, and the fire drill went off, and I had to go outside in a turkey outfit. People were like pushing the turkey. Drill. <laughs> Uh, no, I was trying it on for someone who wasn't ah, there to try okay. it on. So I wasn't even supposed to eat in the turkey outfit. There you go. Wish we could have seen that. How about you? How about me? Uh, one time I took a bath and 
I didn't know that my towel would be that small. <laughs> <laughs> so my clothes was, was in a distance. So I had to go out with a small towel and walk to me. I was the small towel. How about you? I had a shooting for and I didn't know to be under here. It's just like many countries that one has something to say. It was so funny. Imagine you na lang guys. Okay, have you, next question, have you ever cheated on anyone? No, never. No. Me, yes. What can't cheat? I don't know. Have you cheated on anyone? No. What? About? A relationship? Relationship. A friend, anything. I go back to my first answer. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. But we all learn from that. Yes. Okay. Next question. Mahirap yung mga tanong pero sinasagot nila hindi ko mapahuban. Okay. What's the riskiest thing you've ever done? Riskiest? Yes. So. I did a lot of risky things, so um, I'm more as a uh, <clears throat> extreme sport guy, so I do a lot of risks. Okay. So I can't count. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable. Maybe, maybe jump from a cliff, like it's really high, I don't know how many feet. And I was just flying, and I'm like, okay, if I touch the ground, if I'm dead, I'm dead. If I'm alive, I'm alive. Ooh. So let's just go with it. I'm actually living it right now. One of the riskiest things I did was take one-way flights across Asia and create an Asia tour before I have a world competition. Ooh, so which countries uh, were you going to play? So I went to Singapore, and then I went to Bali, Indonesia, Jakarta, and then Kamigan and Nauvoo. Ooh, there. How about the Last, how many excess numbers are currently in your phone? I think Brandon has a lot. No, because I got a new phone, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it transferred. Okay. But I do like to clean things out. So, phone talks. So it's only phone numbers, right? How many phone numbers? Yes. Uh, not social media, so no, zero. Social media is way different. Okay, okay. Hindi na pala. Huwag yung numbers sa phone. Instagram na lang, guys. How about you, Ali? Social media. Social media. Social media. Okay. Ayun na guys, di ko na pahuban. I'm so sorry. Sorry, baby. I tried my best. 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 Pero ito na. Sige. Can you guys invite them to the Man of the World 2022 fashion? And also, follow your social media accounts. So please support us and join us in Baguio in June 18. We'll be all there, complete, uh, hopefully. And please support my brothers, my fellow can uh, all the candidates also. And if you want to see me online, in social media, go on my Instagram, Nadine Zane. Just write my name. Awesome. So we appreciate you for tuning in today and also for tuning in June 18 <laughs> in Baguio City. And to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Kumu, or Facebook, Brand X Cruise. You're doing Kumu. Yeah. How about you? I'm excited to be coming soon and please support us for everything and I hope all of you can join us and I hope the best for all of models and guys and artists. Thank you so much. Abangan nyo na lang yung swimsuit competition guys. Doon na lang sila magpapahak.
ilagay na lang namin doon sa ano sa description box yung kung kailan yon para ano ko naman yun yung target niya talaga. Shout out. Okay, thank you so much for joining us for this yeah. interview, guys. It's thank nice. you so much, guys. Join us in for the latest showbiz updates, punta lang kayo sa pep.ph and also our social media accounts and dyan lang sa baba. Also, kung meron kayo, ay, kung gusto nyo kayo follow at Mr. Nito Tuazon lang. Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.